In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 useful tips for completing the auto shop contracts in GTA 5 Online. Some of these may be obvious while others are more nuanced and with that being said, let's get into it. If you want to speed up the auto shop contracts, make sure to purchase personal quarters for the business so that when you're doing setup missions, you can load up into a new invite only session, teleporting you back to the auto shop so that you can start up the next setup. And when it comes down to getting from point A to point B during the setup missions, I do suggest using something like the Sparrow or a Buzzard or the Oppressor Mark II. As we all know, the contract board only shows three contracts at any given time. And if the one that you want to do isn't on there, all you have to do is click into one of them, start one of them up, then back out of the contract board, walk outside your auto shop, call up Sasanta, and cancel the job from there. When you walk back into your auto shop and go back to the contract board, there will be a fresh set of three new contracts. Before starting up any setup missions and especially the finale, make sure to go down to this bowl here on the first floor. You're able to grab and replenish snacks from there. Snacks allow you to replenish health, which can be very helpful for things like the union depository contract or the agency deal. So having snacks is very important, but if you wanted an extra layer of protection during the finales, if you have a personal tuner's vehicle that you could use, make sure to put louvers on the back that will essentially make the back of the car bulletproof. Now it isn't perfect for all of the cars, but the best car to use this with is the Jester RR. I personally have it, have never had problems with it, and the car actually has great performance. So that's very important when using your tuner vehicles for the finales. But did you know that you could actually use your other personal vehicles for some of the finales? Something like the Karuma or even the Oppressor Mark II? If you own an apartment with a garage or a standalone garage, they can actually be accessed during the finales. For something like the prison contract or the lost MC contract, using the armored Karuma would be very helpful. But the one that I use the most is the Oppressor Mark II during the Super Dollar Deal. It allows me to take out the entire army convoy and the transporter very quickly, while also giving me the ability to fly across the map, meaning that I could do the contract in about 15 to 20 minutes. And while that's very helpful, something that's even more helpful is being able to skip missions entirely. And this is completely possible with the bank contract and the agency deal, for the second setup mission in both of them, you're able to skip the setup mission entirely. All you have to do is start it up, wait for the call from Sasanta, exit out the call, and then load into a new invite-only session, assuming you're doing it solo. Once you load back in, you could go back to the contract board and start up the finale right away. Now, when it comes to finales, it could actually be quite difficult getting away from the cops, especially when you're coming up against them in the union depository contract or something like the bank contract. So something that's very helpful is using the support crew in the interaction menu for these contracts. Now there's a few things you could get your support crew to do that's important, but by far the best one to use is the diversion. This will take the cops away from you for a short period of time, and in that time you may be able to lose your wanted level, or at least be able to escape to the place that you want to get to. I personally use it when I finally get out of the Union Depository and I'm heading towards the police station to get the police helicopter. I use the diversion then, it takes the cops away from me, and by the time I get to the police station, I usually don't even have a wanted level. And that brings me to the next tip, which is using the police helicopter during the contract, more specifically, the Union Depository contract. The police station is located here on the map, and during the finale of the heist, if you escape the Union Depository, you could head to the police station and scale the building in this route here. And once you get to the top, you could then grab the police helicopter and fly to your final destination. Now, of course, in order to get to the police station, you'd have to get through a bunch of cops, which can be a little bit difficult at times. But if you want to avoid that, you can use a simple trick with the Union Depository contract. Once you've grabbed all the gold from the vault and have come back in the elevator, you can actually stay there and drink Pisswazer beers until your character passes out. This will allow you to spawn at the police department on the east end of the city. That will give you a head start to get away from all the cops. But of course, if you use a diversion right before having your eighth drink, that will make things even easier. So those tips should have helped you complete the contracts easier, but I do have one final tip that will make you even more money when you complete the contracts. If you do the contract solo, you will get the base level reward. 
But if you happen to be the host and get more people to do the contract with you, you will earn a money bonus for each person that joins the contract. Of course, you could only have up to three additional members, but the bonus and payout can be quite significant. For example, this week, the Union Depository is paying out double money, meaning that solo, you will get $540,000 as your payout. But if you have three extra members, you could get up to $630,000 as your final payout. So I hope these 10 things help you all in completing the auto shop contracts. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.